Hello, my name is Andy O'Neill, and I'm going to do an Integromat how-to video today, and we're going to talk about uh, the data store and an alternative to the data store. Uh, sometimes uh, when you have a smaller account or if you use a lot of data stores, you may run out of data stores and you may need to look up some data, but you don't have another data store to create on your account. And there's a trick we can do using the switch function and a, a JSON module to replace a data store. Now, I will say this will work well if uh, you don't have hundreds and hundreds of things to look up. Maybe there's a small set of things to look up, maybe 10, 15, 20, or 30 things that you need to look up, and that these things don't change a lot. Uh, I do this for a client, and the, the list of things we looked up has changed a couple times in a year. So it's not a big deal to go and update that. If you have data that you need to look up that changes a lot, changes every day or every week, this is not gonna be the solution for you. And if you have hundreds of things you need to look up, this isn't gonna be the solution either. So basically we've got a table here of, of data and uh, you know it would be completely appropriate if you have a data store available to go create a data store that looks like this. There's three items, product ID, color, and SKU, or assuming we're looking at, at order, you know, ordering items here. You could go create a data store and uh, look it up this way with the product ID is the way we're going to do it. Or uh, we're going to do an, an alternate option that works just as well and doesn't use a data store. We're going to use a parse JSON module and a switch function. So basically the way this works is I've turned the, each of these lines into a simple JSON string. So this is valid JSON that represents each one of these lines. So here are each one of my lines, uh, the product ID, the color, and the SKU for that product. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the switch function. And if you've never used the switch function, it's an extremely powerful, but can be confusing uh, function tool to use within Integromat. Basically it says, the, fix, the switch function says, if my variable equals something, in this case, if my variable equals 321, then I want to switch 321 to this value. So I'm going to switch one value to the other. If my variable is 741, I want to switch 741 to this value. So it says if, if, my, if my variable is something, switch it to this. If it's something else, switch it to this. I'm going to show you how this works. So I've got a Google Sheet. Um, again, I use this with WooCommerce and other tools. I'm just going to use a Google Sheet today just for simplicity. But basically, I have the product IDs from this table right here. I have my product IDs in my Google Sheet. And we're going to look at them up one at a time. And we're going to, what we need to do is we need to find the color and the SKU for that product ID. But we're only going to get the product ID. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to run this here. I'm going to return one row from my Google Sheet, and there's my product ID. So what we need to do, that's product ID 321. We go back here. We need to say, I want the switch variable to turn 321 into this JSON, which gives me three variables, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna pull our, our parse JSON module over here. I'm gonna put that out of the way for now. And we're gonna build our switch function in this module. Now we don't need to put a data structure in here. We're gonna put the JSON string directly here. So we're gonna go over here to functions and we're gonna click on switch. All right, so I'm going to, just to make this easy to look at, I'm gonna put some hard returns in here um, and we're going to do it this way. So switch, so my value I want to switch is my product ID. So I'm going to map my product ID right there. And then I'm going to say, if product ID is 321, I've got some JSON, my JSON stored right over here. If it's 321, I'm going to do another hard return again, just to make it easy to easier to view. So my switch is my product ID. If it's 321, I want to switch it to that JSON string. And what happens is if it switches to that JSON string, this module will parse the JSON and it'll spit out only those values. It's, it's, it's a really slick kind of thing. Now I'm gonna also say if it's 654,
output that JSON string. I'm just going to put each one of these options in here. If it's 987, now each one has to be separated by a, a semicolon. If it's, oops, not ready for that. If it's 741, If it's 8.52, output that JSON. And if it's 9.63, output that JSON. And then we're going to end it with our close parenthesis. So what's going to happen is we have these. I'm going to hit OK on this. What this module is going to do is say, if our value is this, we're going to spit out this JSON. And that module is going to parse it and we're going to have this nice list of variables. All right, so let's let's run it and give it a try. All right, so our product ID was 321. What did this spit out? 321 red 1014. 321 red 1014. Okay, so this went and the switch said our value is 321, so output the JSON. The module parses the JSON, and we have this nice, clean list of variables we can use in our next step. Okay, so I was able to look up the data, and I didn't have to use a data store to do this. So we're going to, just to finish this off, we're going to um, fill in our other values over on our Google Sheet here. We're going to fill out B and C with color and skew. So B is going to be color, and C will be our skew. I'm going to hit OK, I'll line this up and hit Save. And let's just run one of these. So our product was 321. This brought us back to our product ID 321, the color and the value, and it updated our Google Sheet right there. So this we, we, we avoided using a data store for whatever reason, um, and we were able to look this up. Now let's look up the next one. Go back here, 654 blue, 118, 654 blue, 118. Yep, that's good. And so we can just continue looking these up. And I, hopefully you see this is, this is powerful. Let me tell you how I use this with my client. Client has a WooCommerce store. And so this, this first step would be WooCommerce. And I get an order ID. I'm sorry, I get a product ID from the order. There are steps that I do in QuickBooks and in HubSpot that I need values that are unique to QuickBooks and HubSpot based on this product that they order. So I get the order ID. I use this parse JSON. It says, if the order ID is this, give me this output, this JSON output. And it gives me all of the QuickBooks codes and labels and IDs that I need, and it gives me all of the HubSpot codes and labels that I need, I, I need, that I need to make those assets uh, based on that product. I can't get those from WooCommerce. I would either have to look those up or I would use this switch functionality to get those for the rest of my scenario. So that's really where it comes in handy is looking up a finite set of values based on one piece of information that you get. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, I just use Google Sheets as a place to store those values to get them one at a time. And you can see it goes right back and it just, here is the, let me show you one more time. Here's our product ID, 741. Here's our, here's the output. So it only gave us that one JSON output. It parsed it here into these values and then in our example, we updated our Google Sheet. So I hope this is helpful to you. Um, I'd love to get any questions or comments you have about this. Uh, is this useful? Would you use this instead of Data Store? Or would you prefer to use Data Store? Uh, and if you need any help with uh, premium Integromat support, uh, please check the link below and reach out to me. Have a great day.